Hi, it's Nan Martin from Nan Martin Coaching, Experience Essential Oils, and Experience Stress-Free Living. I want to talk about my journey over the last 18 months, um, my challenging, life-changing uh, journey, uh, and I want to share it with everyone on part of what I went through and how I'm going forward and uh, hoping that uh, this will help others to go forward or help them in some ways. And I hope you'll share this video if, if it resonates with you. In August 2016, I was diagnosed with HER2 positive breast cancer. Um, it's a genetic form of cancer. Uh, it's important to know that because it's actually not really a lifestyle cancer um, and not necessarily an environmental cancer. So this is a, a cancer that has a problem with the signaling in the genes. Um, and when you have a problem in the signaling in the genes, the, you have an overexpression of basically of cells that creates a tumor okay so it's different in the fact that that again it's not lifestyle what's so interesting about that is that I had a great lifestyle right so fuck keep going keep going <clears throat> So what's interesting about the type of cancer I had is it's, it wasn't really lifestyle and environmentally dependent. And if you, most people that know me or people that know me get that because here I was um, an athlete. I was an athlete. I've been an athlete most of my life. I've eaten really healthy my whole life. Um, here I, as a coach, I've helped people walk through emotions and clear emotions from from childhood and from unresolved events in their life um, and done mindset issue and I work with oils. I, I work on my spiritual well-being, my mental, my physical well-being on a daily basis. Everything I do, yet I was still diagnosed with with cancer. And you know, so some of you out there might be the same way. And you know, what I want to do is make it not about you because and not make people wrong about that happening because there's a lot of people out there right now, a lot of negativity around, uh, around cancer and what you should do and what you shouldn't do. And it's just <laughs> complete overwhelm. And to be honest, that's, that's really part of why I haven't, I didn't come forward earlier because it's just way too much information overload out there on cancer. Number two, there's a lot of people saying what you, again, what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing. So a lot of judgment, a lot of criticism on treatment. Um, and, and third of all, I really wanted to make it my own. I really wanted to walk through it and make it a transformational experience rather than something I just wanted to get done or something that I just wanted to get over. Um, my mother you know, died of breast cancer, a different form of breast cancer, but she died of breast cancer. I've had friends who you know, have passed from breast cancer and I certainly have friends right now battling breast cancer and other forms of cancer. And you know, it's, a, it's the, one of the most challenging journeys that you can, you can be on from the minute you're diagnosed, you, you know, the confusion and the overwhelm and just the disbelief of, wow. For me, it was a disbelief in my friends, right? Like, wow, well, Nan, you know, if you're diagnosed, you know, if you get cancer, then, then anyone can. Right, so, uh, and I believe part of mine was triggered from my emotional, from my uh, childhood abuse. Um, but regardless, is that, you know, how do I, how do I go forward from here? And 
the forward part of that is through that journey, um, I was able to do it in a way that I was my own advocate. I owned my own stuff, you know, I, and I had to really find the core root programming still and uh, on why I still got this and own that piece. Um, and I did. So then the other thing I needed to do was put together a plan and a team that worked for me. Um, and that's, that's really, really important because um, <laughs> it seems like there's, two, again, that negativity, there's two sides of the fence. So one side of the fence is you do all allopathic. Uh, and then the second side of the fence is the other side of the fence, excuse me, is holistic. And it's amazing to me how even in the holistic world, we can be very negative about women's choices. Uh, and but when you're faced with a, something life challenging, you have to make the right decisions for you. That's, that's the bottom line. And I did a lot of research on this before I made my choices. And when I did the research, I found out, wow, there was like one article on something natural, uh, which by the way was uh, CBD oil that was supposed to help this. And I had already was using CBD oil. So there really wasn't a lot of options so what I decided to do is like, okay, well, I need to put together a plan that will work for me, which is a combination of allopathic doctors, the, um, uh, all the integrative, all the holistic things like laser, chiropractic, acupuncture, all those other things, oil, all those other things I know to support me and walk my way through this in a way that I come out a better person. Honestly, what I wanted to do is become, walk out this so I became a better person, that I transformed myself in this process, that I was sort of like the, um, <laughs> the phoenix rising from the ashes. And that's how it's been. And then there's still days that I, I don't know how to pick up the pieces still, um, I, had, I admit. And there's still days that, that I'm not sure how to go forward. But I do know that the days that I can go forward, I do. Um, and so one of the things to that, to that goal that I'm doing is I put together a Facebook community for women, for women only, who, which I call uh, navigating through breast cancer successfully. And I put that together for people who are, are walking through breast cancer, women who are walking through breast cancer, um, for people who are, are just diagnosed that are just don't know where to turn and need support. Uh, and then there's women that are living with this every day. And they need, and, and then there's people who are trying to recover from this and pick up all these pieces and walk on. Uh, and, you know, you, you've changed after, after an experience like that, you have changed. You know, there's no way you can, you can say that you haven't. Um, so with that said, like this group is just a really want to put together this group that just has no judgment over what people's choices are no criticism, no negativity, and offer a community of, where, of tips and support on whether it's your treatment, whether it's your, you know, how I'm thinking about this, your feelings, navigating through these feelings, because your feelings are, you're just all over the place with some of this stuff. You know, sometimes you feel like you're, you're spinning out of control at first, uh, with so many things to, that are going around your head, you know, laying awake at night going, oh my gosh, you know, how did I even get here, right? So uh, I created that group. Um, we're doing some, I'm going to be doing some weekly coaching calls, um, posting some new research as I get them, 
Um, also be posting some information on genetics. I, I really learned a lot about my genetics through this. Um, and, I, and I was trained, I did some training classes with Dr. Jay Dunn. She's on the cutting edge of evaluating your genetics and nutrigenomics um, and um, using supplements to really get, not, not to cure, because I don't talk about curing um, disease, but on how to really support healthy methylization in your body, which people are really unaware of. Um, and it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's a cutting edge. It's where everything is going, including um, what really, in my mind, part of what helped me recover from this, which is the antibody drugs. I used, um, I was on Herceptin, which is an antibody that helps uh, sort of reprogram those, those genetics. Um, and if you really, if you want to learn about uh, HER2, there's a great movie, um, Be in a Good Space, you know, to see it. I understand that, but uh, by uh, Harry Connick Jr., which is called Living Proof. But it's a very inspirational and heartwarming uh, movie because it really talks about this, this version of cancer that, you know, <coughs> He was working, they were working on this stuff back when I was in college. They were working on trying to get this stuff. They were sort of the pioneers of some of this genetic, genetic drugs um, and, and that have really helped women. I mean, there wasn't anything back then, you know, it was like 40,000 women a year were dying of this. So it was a very poor prognosis, um, even up to about 10 years ago. So I feel incredibly blessed that everything I was doing in my life was keeping this thing at bay till there was a good option for me there, uh, you know, to be able to walk through it. Uh, there's no accidents, right? I don't, I don't believe in that. I believe that there's, you know, timing for everything. And I feel really blessed that I was able to walk through this uh, so cleanly and make good choices and have so many tools at my disposal to do it my, you know, to do it my way. Um, and not everybody's gonna be able to do that, that's okay. But I can do my part to help this group um, feel safe, uh, walk forward, no matter what the outcome is. And, and that's important. I think that's part of what I wanna get across to people is at the end of the day, it's your life, it's, it's your life, it's your body, it's, it's your mind. And, and we have to make the best choices, we do the best thing, to, the best choices for us. You have to live with that fact every day. Um, and you have to be at peace with it. And I think the people that, what I saw is when the people around me or the women around me that when they had a good attitude, a good mindset, and they were walk, working through all this and walking through the emotions and um, showing up in the best way they could be, being authentic and, and being very open-minded, then they walked through it pretty, pretty darn good. I'm not saying it wasn't challenging, but they walked through it pretty darn good. But, you know, most, but I saw, also saw another group of women that were very much like, they just, they didn't, they weren't an advocate. They didn't take their own life almost seriously enough. It was, they just, they just, well, whatever the doctor says. And they weren't open to doing anything. They weren't do, open to looking at the other things. And they didn't have a good attitude. And they're not here to talk about it. And that, you know, and I honor that for them. I honor that that was their choice. So again, it's not about judgment, but I honor that there's a choice, but there is another way of looking at this. Um, so this is why I created this, this Facebook community. And, and the, the other thing I just wanna leave with you because it's a, it, it's a mindset, it's a change in mindset, is, you know, I spent my whole life uh, surviving uh, childhood, I felt like my mom, her biochemistry was really messed up. She has some pretty bad genetics, some pretty bad epigenetics. She was sick most of her childhood, and you know I don't blame her. 
I love her. I love my mom, and I still do. Um, but, you know, I survived childhood. I survived abuse, verbal abuse, some physical abuse, and I can't look at cancer that way. I just can't. It, this has got, this got to be about transforming your cancer, or walking through it successfully in another way, other than fighting, conflict, just get, you know, get it out of here. Uh, you know, to me, that is, it's not in alignment with who we are in the universe. Um, it's, I want to be, I want to help people to be in alignment with their truth. I mean, that's really what this comes down to, isn't it? This comes down to truth, truth about who you are, truth about how you're going to follow your heart, truth about what you're going to do for you. Um, and, and sometimes it's not pretty getting to that truth. Hasn't been for me. Um, but the other side of it is so much better. The other side of it is, is the reward. That is the reward. So I just wanted to sort of end on that note because I can't do, I, I, I just can't do the survival ship thing. It's not, this is about success for me. This isn't about surviving. Um, I didn't, so I hope you can see that. And if this message resonates with you, I just ask you share the message. Um, share the, the Facebook group. It's uh, once again, and I'll post it as well, but it's walking through, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's navigating through breast cancer successfully. Um, so that is open to women only. And you know, you, it's, it's, you have to be accepted into the group. Um, and it's not a place for judgment or criticisms it's, or you know, whining and complaining and, and negativity. I'm not gonna do any of that. But this, this is gonna be a supportive group for those of us that are looking maybe to do this another way and open, you know, do it through our heart um, and understand that there's, there's, there's different ways to walk through things and there's different ways to look at things. Um, so with that said, I, I just bless everybody on this journey and I really wanna thank um, everyone that took that journey with me. It was a small inner group of, of people that just were there for me the whole time. They did the same thing. They didn't judge me and there's no criticism. They got that I wanted to just be my own advocate and, and make some of my own decisions based on uh, how my body felt or, or my intuition uh, versus, versus just what everybody says out there. And, you know, I apologize that if I haven't uh, been able to show up in the best way possible sometimes, but to me that's authenticity. I just haven't been, been able to. Um, but with that said, I just want everybody to have a great uh, light-filled day. Make it, a, make it a great day. You know, be thankful you're alive, be blessed that you're alive. See what, no matter what challenge, my message is that no matter what challenge you're going through today, um, how can you, what can you learn from that? What can, what is your takeaway from that? And how can you, how can you give back to the world? Or how can you make that into something that's a blessing rather than, rather than something that's, that's a thorn in your side? Um, so I, I'll leave you with that and I hope you have just a fantastic day. Love and light, Nan.